let's talk about Dutch Girl. So in Dutch Girl, rather than uh, a fictional female hero, we actually have a real life inspiration, which is none other than Miss Audrey Hepburn. Um, so this book is particularly interesting because it focuses on uh, Audrey's life during World War II. And this is a period um, in which her son, Luca Dotti, who wrote the foreword, um, says was really the time that made his mother who she was. Um, so this book is special because the war was really pretty traumatizing for Audrey Hepburn. And so she wasn't really game to talk about it during her life. And because of that, the author, Robert Matson went to um, some pretty exhaustive effort to research um, and create this book. So he pulled um, some of her own rare, but like very insightful reminiscences about the period together with records, um, classified Dutch archive records, as well as interviews with people who knew Audrey um, during this time period um, that were still around. And he put together actually a real page turner. Um, so the book is both hopeful and heartbreaking. Um, nearly all the information in it that I read was new to me. And I will admit I'm not particularly a film buff, but I was reading a lot of reviews about the book. And it seems for even um, Audrey's biggest fans, um, this was a really revealing piece of writing. The war was, like I mentioned, tough on Audrey, and though her mother eventually snapped out of it, um, her mom was totally enraptured with Hitler and his charm, which today we can't really imagine, but alas, it was true. Um, and he, Hitler kind of manipulated Audrey's mother um, into being pro-Nazi, and she was even two years into the war before she really changed her mind. Um, her father was a Nazi agent and her uncle was executed during World War II. So all in all, this is not really an idyllic childhood. Um, so the book explores Audrey as a whole person rather than just touching on the war and diving into her film career. Um, there's not a lot of the cinema in this book, although we do get some insight into her um, later years when she was, yes, an actress, but also an ambassador for UNICEF. Um, I think it's pretty easy to see from this book that she had such a devastating childhood um, that it would be only natural for her to uh, work toward the protection and welfare of children. It's not all bad though, right? Audrey herself came to work for the D Dutch resi resistance and she was a doctor's assistant during the Battle of Arnhem. Um, she did find triumph during the war actually um, and began to pave the way for her own fame. Um, even in the toughest of times, uh, Audrey, or at the time Audriancha, which she was called, which is such a beautiful name, um, was a talented ballerina and she rose to fame really as one of the most famous ballerinas in her area. Uh, the story is fascinating and the ebook actually even has some um, never before published photos. I'd already respected Audrey but I was just really enamored and inspired by her by the end um, and I hope you'll feel the same way when you read Dutch Girl.